Who made that mistake? <laughs> uh, welcome guests, uh, family, friends, and faculty. And to the faculty, uh, we want to say we're sorry. Uh, we're sorry for challenging you every step of the way. Uh, for reading our books too much and coming up with uh, different opinions than you. Uh, but you didn't do a good job of teaching us if, uh, if we weren't, uh, you know, always looking for a better answer. And you taught us that as nurses. And to the class, we made it. No more care plans. No more competencies to worry about. Here we are. As a class, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank our biggest asset in this program, uh, Google, <laughs> Wikipedia, and whoever invented copy and paste. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we honestly want to thank our families, whether our blood families or, or family that we made here. We made family here. You stood by us and you supported us. You put up with our crazy hours, our time away from home, and you supported us emotionally and financially at times. We thank you. We started this journey as lost sheep, and we really were. And we quickly found out that we were sheep being led to slaughter. <laughs> we had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. Nobody did. And make no mistake, people, this program wasn't easy. Not at all. Your loved one up here really does deserve your accolades. We were quickly taken from the basics of how to make beds to recognizing the signs and symptoms of a heart attack and how to treat it. From bedpans to scientific basis for our interventions. From practice to rationale. The program was filled with a lot of firsts for us. We will always remember our first patients, our first clinical groups, the first shots we gave, the first successful IV we started, our first day of 292. <laughs> Let's talk about 292. 292 is what nightmares were made out of. It's the rumors that lead up to it. It's the skeletons you find along the way. But I want to say this. Mrs. Cruz, Ms. Putman, Ms. Wingler, you're not so bad. We beat it, and we're here today. We are a little more educated. Maybe we're a little bit tougher. But if there's one thing we are, it's nurses. I read an article recently on a nursing website, and it groaned at how every nurse that you talk to thinks that they're a great nurse. And surely there has to be one bad nurse out there. Right? So how should we, as new graduates, gauge our success. Let me read you a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. <laughs> to laugh often and love much, to win the respect of intelligent persons and the affection of children, to earn the approbation of honest citizens and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to give of oneself, to leave the world a little bit better, whether by a healthy child 
a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition. To have played and laughed with enthusiasm, and sung with exaltation. To know even one life has breathed better because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. And by this judgment, I know that this class that sits before you has already been successful. Thank you. I'd like to introduce another member of this wonderful class, Ashley Martin. <laughs> Thank you.